today we are talking about general features of presenting the financial statement now among the general features we got fair presentation and compliance compliance means that we are preparing these statements following all the available international accounting standards which means that the financial statement present fairly or give a true and fair view now this word give true and fair view it does not mean that everything is correct 100% no it's very very difficult to say even the auditors say that the true and fair view but i think uh, still there is some room somewhere that when we do some adjustments when we do some uh, provisions or assumptions we have some something left out there so that anyhow but we are trying hard that we should give a true and fair view about the financial position financial performance and cash flow of of an entity so this is also very important that fair presentation should be there let people feel that the things are correct materiality an item is deemed material if its omission or misstatement completely you left it out or you misstated wrongly stated would influence the economic decision of user taken based on the financial statement when if an item is entirely omitted or misstated and if the decision maker knows about it his decision will be different any item which affects the decision of the decision maker is a material item now how to let's say find out whether the item is material or not there is a test for example if that item affects at least 5% then the item is material how for example among uh, let's say i'm giving you small figures but it means the same 20000 sales normally you have taken out but do you missed out let's say 2000 sales instead of 22 you will report only 20000 so you missed out 2000 sales which is 10% of the sales it's a material item but as i said the threshold is 5% similarly sometimes we take it into consideration the profit percentage that if it affects on your profit by 5% item can be a material item so the material item should not be understated or misstated or omitted from the accounts now materiality is based on the items nature size and the surrounding circumstances now in some time this word materiality uh, is not taken into account for example if we are let's say looking into our bank accounts if there is a difference in your bank statement balance and the balance as per your cash book we cannot ignore it although the difference is small but still we cannot ignore it we need to reconcile it before we report the bank balance or cash in hand or cash at bank in the balance sheet so this is important the some time materiality can be compro- cannot be compromised at all not a percentage then going concern the financial statement should be prepared on the going concerns basis that the company is not having any intention to close its business in near future entirely or maybe a major part of your business you are not going to concern in fact there are 20 factors which can determine that your business is going to be not going to concern for example you are not paying salaries to your staff you are not paying to your creditors what will happen you are not paying to your creditors it means they will supl- stop the supplies then you are not more going concern because it is not that simple that if you not paying one supplier you can go to the next supplier no way the other supplier will ask you from where you were buying previously so obviously he will tell you the whole story so the new supplier will not also supply so you have a problem in fact there are 20 20 factors which contributes to that for example you are making losses 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 how long you can continue with these losses so going concern means that you have to continue in business 
and that is the important thing. We prepare these accounts, keeping in mind that we are going to continue. We are buying, selling on credit because we know we are paying to the creditors and we are receiving from the receivable or debtors. So enterprise will not close its operation unless the management either intend to liquidate the entire uh, the enterprise or to cease trading. There is no intention to close business for a foreseeable future on the assumption of available information. At least the next 12 months you are continuing. Then we have this aggregation. Each material item, material class of similar items should be presented separately in the financial statement. Material items, they are dissimilar in nature, should be separately disclosed. Let me give you an example here. For example, you got a photocopying machine, you are incurring cost on that machine. So we just put together all those expenses in one item, printing item, printing expense. So it's not that that each and every item should be disclosed separately. You put together because they're similar. Similar items should be put together, aggregation. But if it is a big amount, then it should be put separately. But if it's small, small amounts, you can put together in one item. Thank you very much.